This is the Scoop for Thursday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. The Largo Police Department says a pedestrian was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver around 9 last night on Roosevelt Boulevard, just east of U.S. Highway 19. Police say an unknown vehicle struck the pedestrian and then fled. A second vehicle struck the pedestrian as well, but that driver stayed on the scene and, according to Largo Police, showed no signs of impairment. Police are asking the public for information. An inmate at Pinellas County Jail has died. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office says detectives assigned to the robbery homicide unit are investigating the death of 64-year-old inmate David Eagle. Eagle had been charged on Sunday with driving while license suspended, revoked as a violation of probation, DUI. But around 9 yesterday morning, he was found unresponsive in his cell. The investigation continues, but so far there is no evidence that Eagle has been in any physical altercations or suffered any injuries while incarcerated. Meanwhile, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is also investigating the death of an inmate. In a press release, the Sheriff's Office says Jack Daniel Knox was experiencing stomach pain and admitted to Tampa General last week. Knox went into cardiac arrest and pronounced dead at TGH yesterday. He was 37. The Sheriff's Office is investigating the cause of death. Flooding rains inundated the Tampa Bay area again yesterday. On X, the National Weather Service Tampa Bay wrote, During one hour Tuesday, TPA recorded 3.8 inches of rain, setting a new hourly rainfall record. And yesterday, there was 2.63 inches in one hour, coming in at number six all time. Several major streets flooded again in the region. Local flash flooding has occurred over parts of Florida this week, and the risk continues to intensify today through at least the weekend. A candidate for state attorney in the Orlando area who won the Republican nomination last month has left the race. When Seth Hyman withdrew yesterday, it cleared the way for appointed state attorney Andrew Bain to square off with suspended prosecutor Monique Worrell. A letter from Hyman did not explain his reasons for withdrawing, but Hyman told the website Florida's Voice that he did not want anti-Worrell vote to be split. Hillsborough County's most popular bus route may be free in the near future. The Tampa Bay Times reports that Tampa City Council voted 4-3 to three this week to reallocate $1.5 million of the proposed budget to launch the fare-free pilot and increase the frequency of service between downtown and the University of South Florida. It's Hearts Route 1. That money has been earmarked for electric vehicle chargers. Transit advocates praised the year-long pilot program as a way to boost bus ridership, economic development, and mobility mobility in a city that relies primarily on cars. Governor Ron DeSantis gave updates yesterday on initiatives he's involved with at the Children and Family Summit. That includes the Father Initiative. That's something the governor established two years ago. The program offers mentorship opportunities and one-on-one support to encourage responsible and involved fatherhood. We've put substantial resources into this. Uh, I think it's something that, that has started to bear fruit. Uh, But if we're able to be in a situation where we're increasing uh, the number of men who are taking their responsibilities as fathers seriously and are engaged, that is going to be good for the state of Florida. DeSantis says this initiative is important because father figures can help children grow and have positive impacts on their lives. He says the state is unique in the programs offered like this one. It will be rainy and hot today with highs in the low 90s. A heat advisory is in effect from noon until 6 this evening. A river flood warning is in effect for these local rivers. The Little Manatee River at Waimama at US 301. The Hillsborough River near Hillsborough River State Park. The Manatee River near Mayaka Head at State Road 64. And the Mayaka River at Mayaka River State Park. More showers and possibly a thunderstorm are possible tonight with lows in the mid-70s. Tomorrow, a stray shower or thunderstorm is possible with highs temperatures in the low 90s. I'm Sean Canaan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.